Hi everybody, welcome to the North East Airfield and once again, look at this amazing flight line of helicopters from Red Falcon's PC Steam mod for Daisy, um, the uh, Flight Systems Helis. Now you may well remember in a previous video I talked about the Robertson R22 and how if you want to learn to fly, um, this is a really cool one because it has uh, certain settings that mean that it won't roll pitch and yaw too much and it won't fall down too much so you can't as easily kill yourself as you can with the others however flight system helis is fully configurable so in this video i'm going to show you the basics and configuring the files so that you can not only make all of the helicopters easy to fly but you can change things like whether you can take the cargo out um, whether uh, they have a HUD, whether you can swap pilot controls, that sort of thing. Now, where you really want to be, if you're into Red Falcon's um, Flight Systems Helis mod, as a server owner, you want to configure stuff, is you want to go and join his Discord. So in the description below this video, I'll put a link to his Discord. And then you want to go to the Tutorials channel in the Red Falcon Flight Systems um, bit of his Discord. And there's loads of good stuff telling you <laughs> where the fuel points are, because they can be a bit... Um, difficult to see and then somewhere there will be the red falcon flight systems helis config settings dot pdf document so download that and then you can um you can have a look at it um and all you really need to do is if you just read through this it might seem a little bit complicated at first but honestly it's very 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 simple um there's the uh there's the mod on steam as well and basically what happens is when you spawn the helicopters in on your server um, they each get um, a JSON file a configuration file which means you can then change certain things about the behavior of that helicopter and there's also a master configuration file as well which changes the behaviors of all of the helicopters so rather than kind of just read through this document let me kind of show you what I mean so if we look on uh, this server here, let's have a look. This is my Namalsk server, which I've spawned um, some helicopters in. And we go into the file browser, and then you go into Daisy Standalone, and then you look down um, underneath the mod, you'll have a config or a profile folder. This can have different name. It could be called settings, um, config, profile, settings. Um, in the batch file you can kind of tell the game what you want to call it but on Nitro it's called config and if we go into here you'll see we've got some more folders and then we have the RFF's heli config folder so if we go into this one you'll see that we have a master config.json and there's a config file for the R22 now that's the only one I've spawned in on this particular server so that's why there's only one so that's where these files kind of live and where you can edit them if you like you can do it live if you've got a web browser like with Nitrado you could download them play with them if we look at my local server though it's a little bit clearer to see so this this is my local server which I run on my local PC so I can try things out so if I go into the server and uh, I go into the config folder and then I go to the RFS helis one. What we can see is basically I've spawned them all in. So we've got the master config file there, RFS heli, Apache, Bell 429, the Bow 105, the K26, Little Bird, the MI2, and the R Robinson R22. So if we open up the master config, so we can edit with something like Notepad++, and then we'll open up the uh, Apache one as well. What you can do is you see there's all these settings that can either be sort of naught or one so on or off some of them have got um uh, numbers like one to 100 and then you've got the um the one for the helicopter so just really quickly though um if you want to make the helicopters easy to fly you just put a heli trainer mode to one and that, that will stop them pitching and yawing um, too much. So, so that, that's uh, really easy to do as well. Um, in fact, I guess what you could do actually as well, if you look at the um, R22 config, if you just copied that and put that next to... Um, actually, no, you don't, no, don't do that. Don't copy and put it next to it because the different helicopters have different flight characteristics. So you don't want to mess around with that too much. Um, but you do, do want to change the training mode to one. Now... That's the easy one. Now, 
The thing to do then is to slowly and surely read through the PDF and it kind of explains what everything does. Um, so if we go down, so if we look at the master config, um, so HUD, force metric. So um, this basically means you can have your, your altitude uh, and speed in metric or imperial. So kilometers an hour or miles an hour. Um, will it allow you to do the HUD in first person or third person? Do you need to have a helmet on, a pilot helmet, to watch the HUD? Um, can another player take command of the helicopter, so the person who's in the passenger seat? Um, uh, simple collective. So this is an interesting one. So instead of having like a variable collective, so kind of like the throttle, as you go up and down with the mouse wheel, we can have it just so it's like an accelerator, so it, it's going up or going down. Um, so you can turn that on or off. You can turn on off or on weapon damage and collision collision damage for the helicopter and you can also change how much damage is done by collision um, and red falcon kind of explains what that means um, you can also if you use the flight cases um, you can say whether they should be allowed to be taken off or they have to stick with the helicopter or not so people can't nick them and use them in their bases um, and there's kind of what happens when the helicopter crashes. You know, do you get a ruined state, and does it scatter all the inventory around, um, and how much damage is done, and whether zombies should spawn. Um, and there's some more detailed bits about that. Then you get the individual helicopter settings. So fuel capacity, heli fuel consumption rate, whether it's in training mode or not. Um, now that you can alter things like the maximum airspeed, maximum altitude, and maximum climb rate, but these aren't altering the overall capabilities of the helicopter in terms of how fast it can move. It's what it can move up to. Okay, so it's saying look, it can't go faster than this. If the engine's not powerful enough for it to get to that speed in the first place, it's, it's not going to do it. Um, aerodynamic drag. So these are all the things that make the helicopter feel the way that it actually feels. Um, and it's all incredibly easy, and Red Falcon says that you can actually make changes to these as you go along as well, without having to restart your fault with restart your server. So this behavior is byproduct feature that allows JSON configuration files updates to take effect immediately the next time you spawn a helicopter on the server. This allows for easy config tunings, trying a series of changes to get it just right for you without having to do a server restart. So what that would mean is I could. Um, if I didn't like the way that the Apache uh, handles on my particular server, for example, I could um, go into the uh, batch file for the Apache, go into the JSON file for the Apache, sorry, change the settings, obviously upload them in this case because I'm, on, I'm doing this locally, and then simply um, go to my admin controls, spawn in... Uh, another apache and then this apache will now have the new config files applied so this this apache could be in training mode for example which is uh, absolutely fantastic so there we go that my friends is how you can configure red falcon's flight systems helis mod to uh, change many many things including i think most importantly whether the helicopters are in training mode so they're easy to fly and sort of how much damage they take when they when they get shot at or when they collide with uh, with the ground probably is the most common thing that's going to happen so big big thank you goes out to red falcon for creating this amazing mod and what, what's really cool about the flight systems helis mod is that it has no other dependencies you know you don't need to install expansion or anything else with this you just put flight system helis on your server and you have free fully functioning helicopters that i think they fly like a dream um, and it works very very well indeed so there we go i'll put links in the description below this video to the helis mod and to uh, red falcons discord so that you can download the document and you can uh, look at it for yourself and get the helicopters flying and behaving exactly like you want that's done for me and i'll see you again soon